Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, so I got a racket string tension question today. If you string a racket with a poly at a lower tension, will that mean that it will lose tension slower? Stay tuned. All right, so Mike Sasanto sent me this question. Low tension impact to tension loss was the subject. Um, so it says, I have a question about impact of low tension to tension loss. I was watching Tennis Nerd episodes about pros like Manorino that use extreme low tension, uh, 24 pounds, which makes me think, while I'm not sure I would ever go that low from my usual 52, would lowering the tension have any benefit of keeping tension loss less than a higher one? For example, if you string confidential for same racket with 60 pounds and another one at 40 pounds, would the 40 pounds lose tension at a lesser rate, percentage-wise, he says, from a higher tension? That's actually a great question. Okay, so I needed to get a string for an example here. So, Manorino uses a poly, okay, and we're talking about confidential, so that's a poly, too, uh, that Mike asked. So, I'm just going to show you something real quick. That is a poly. Correct? Correct. Now, I'm going to wrap it around my hand. I'm going to wrap it around my hand. How much stretch is there? Well, my weak arms aren't going to be able to do much to this. So, because there's not a lot of elasticity in poly strings, they're going to probably be a, not a lot of tension maintenance in the polyester. Therefore, I don't think it really matters if you string it at 40 or 60. Um, it's going to lose tension pretty significantly, um, if not at the same rate over time. So I actually have two rackets here. Uh, let's say Let's say this one on the left is 60. This one is 40. Okay. So if we took the 60 and played with it for two hours, right? We know, at least I know, that it's going to drop tension at least 10% right around overnight. So it'll become what, guys? 60 minus 10%. Anybody? Euler? Euler? That's right. 54. Okay. 54 before I even play with it. 40 pounds minus 10%. What's 40 minus 10%? 36. That's right. That's right. You're smart out there. I know you. That's right. So. If they're both going to drop 10% before we play, and then as you continue to play, they will both kind of come down, come down, come down. The loose one at 40 is probably going to be unplayable pretty quick, like very quick. Whereas the 60 is probably going to get there, but not as quick. Now, he referred to Manorino, who strings it at an extremely low tension, 24 pounds. So just to share with you guys um, my own experience with uh, Jack Sock, who used to string at 29 to 30 pounds. I've talked about, I've talked about this before in the past. Jack Sock, at one of the tournaments that I strung for, 
so it was a one week challenger. He handed me three rackets every morning, every morning, like clockwork, 8 a.m., right? A-L-U rough, guys. That's what he was using. And he would be like 29, 29 pounds, okay? I'm talking 10 years ago, okay? And the next day, so that was like Monday, Tuesday, three rackets again. I'm looking at the rackets. I said, Jack, this one's not played with. He looks at me and goes, doesn't matter. I can tell the difference. I said, okay, Jack, it's cool. So I cut out the fret. Literally 24 hours later, he didn't play with it. I cut it out and redid it again. Okay, now we're in the Tuesday. He hands me the three again. He didn't play with the third one again. I didn't say nothing. I just cut it. Okay. As he got deeper and deeper into the draw, um, he used that third racket, though, because his matches were getting longer and longer. But literally, like clockwork, three rackets, 8 a.m., he wanted it fresh. Literally, he said, I'm going on the court at 11. Get them on. Get the last one on just before that. So the third racket that I had to string had to be done at around 1045-ish. So literally I had to start it at 930 or whatever on the first one. And then get the three ready by 1045. Okay. Now he won that challenger. Had a nice fat bill of stringing. It's fine with me. But just so you know, though, at he switched from 29 to 30 to 31 pounds throughout the tournament, depending upon either who he was playing or the weather conditions. It was getting warmer a little bit. He went to what, 30, 31, maybe a slightly harder hitter, 30, 31. But he started it at 29. Manorino's at 24. How long is Manorino going to keep those strings in his racket? A day? An hour? How long is it going to maintain tension? 30 minutes? An hour? Like, Manorino strings probably his rackets a lot if it's at 24. He's definitely not keeping it for a week. He's definitely not keeping it for a month or three months, like you and I, okay? He's constantly getting rackets strung because 24 after two hours is not playable, at least for him, okay? So I would like for you guys to, if you ever get the chance, string your racket up at 30 or 35 and see for yourself how fast tension loss comes, especially with a poly. It's very, very fast, very fast. All right. So Mike, I hope I answered your question. Like I said, if you guys get to try low tension, give it a shot. You'll be right back at the stringers within a couple of weeks. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.